Howdy and welcome to another episode of Breaking the Seal. If you like the gift that keeps on giving, even though it's probably three months after Christmas, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you still like building gingerbread houses, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Because Cinnamon Toast Crunch just cannot be stopped. They are still making these wild, wonderful cereals. In this case, the Gingerbread Toast Crunch Edition. Limited edition, I might add. And look at that. They got a wonderful little house going on. That's going to catch your attention. I mean, like, look at his mustache. My goodness. Let's flip that around back, and you can already start making your own little gingerbread toast crunch village. Now, me personally, it's been a very long time since I built a gingerbread house. And when I have my gingerbread, I like it to be very gingery. I really love the flavor of ginger. So I don't know if we're going to get that in this. If we do, this this might be a top contender for all-time cereals for me because I, I just love ginger. But you know what? Let's go ahead and pop this thing open. I'm, I'm really excited about this. What is going to happen when I put this in my mouth? Bag was a little difficult to open. That's all right. We got our special cup here. The special cup of cereal in South Mountain Creamery. Let's go ahead and pour some of that out. Oh, man. All right. So, of course, it's Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So, you know what you're getting into. It looks like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, right? There's nothing new there. If anything, I guess you could argue it looks a little bit darker. Yeah, you could argue that looks just slightly darker than your typical Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's a look, you know. So, let's see what the dry taste test is. Okay. At first I said, this is just Cinnamon Toast Crunch in my head, right? I got to think it through as I'm going. And that's all it was, was just Cinnamon Toast Crunch. But then a little bit of ginger came through. So I wish there was more ginger right off the bat, but this is just going to have to do, you know? They're, it's not like you're going to be getting a box full of the ginger that you get with your sushi, even though I'd probably be really stoked about that. But dry taste test this and everything. We got to put some milk in there. And only one kind of milk goes in this cup. And that's the South Mountain Creamery milk. Oh dear. I'm running out. That's yikes. While that's sitting for a bit. I, like seriously though. When's the last time any of y'all have built a gingerbread house? I think if I built a gingerbread house. I feel like the last time I built them. They all just taste like graham cracker. Which is really underwhelming. I really want that ginger taste in my gingerbread. Now, the best part for me typically is just the icing and the gumdrops, you know? It's the only time I really see gumdrops and eat gumdrops is because of Christmas times, building these gingerbread houses like this, you know? Now I'm looking at this. The chimney, okay, it doesn't really show up as much here, but if you look on the back, you can see the chimney here. And that's the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, like, little swirly dude, uh, kind of looking. It, it's their colorful theme. I don't, I, I don't know what the colors mean, but it reminds me of the Tutti Frutti Ro Fruit Roll-Up. Is it Tutti Frutti Fruit Punch? I don't know. The Rainbow Fruit Roll-Up is what that reminds me of. And I don't think I would really appreciate that in my gingerbread house, but if it gives you that aesthetic, then go ahead and stick with that because that's what you're looking for. I went to the Reading Market in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and they had a gingerbread town. Oh my gosh, it was all over the place. It was wonderful. And by all over the place, I mean they had a really big table and you weren't allowed to eat any of it because I'm sure that might be a health hazard if everybody was eating off of the same gingerbread town and it wouldn't look as good because now you don't have a gingerbread town because everybody's eating it. So let's go ahead and take a bite of this milked cereal. So the first bite I feel like is still lacking the gingerbread taste of it. I got it more while the cereal was dry. If anything, this has a lot of bread taste to it. I'm curious if the milk has taken away that ginger flavor we're gonna to have to give it another bite to really confirm. I gotta say, I'm honestly disappointed with this cereal. The flavor really isn't coming through. It's more bread, maybe the slightest hint of ginger, but we are not getting any cinnamon. We're not getting any sweet. I mean, it really just feels like a muted cinnamon toast crunch. That's what it feels like. And if that's your bag, then go ahead and get it, you know? 
it, you don't like all those sweet flavors of cinnamon toast crunch this is the way to go but it's limited edition and we're several months past christmas so good luck finding this one although i'd rather go with regular cinnamon toast crunch on that it's it's a shame they were doing so well. They were doing all kinds of things, and I think they just reached a little too far with this one. I think that's all I've got to say on this cereal, and I will see you all on the next one.